As a child, I struggled with my self-confidence around STEM. I felt different from the rest of my classmates. I was one of the few students in ELL, English Language Learners class. Growing up, I went from one elementary school to the next. As a result, I was always at a different starting place from the rest of my new classmates. I was embarrassed because when everyone was learning their times tables, I was learning addition between three numbers. When I was at a different learning place from the rest of my classmates, that was when I started to think I wasn't good enough or smart enough. Looking back at how I used to feel about school, I could say with much confidence that I'm at a much better place when I think about the work that I do in class. It wasn't easy for me to accept that I can succeed in class. It was through the mentorship from teachers that I learned how to become interested in learning and ask for help. Growing up, in Lewiston, Maine, I felt like I couldn't relate to my peers. When we were learning how to read, my teacher would give us school books. A part of our homework assignment was to have our parents read to us at home. We would have to read what we could to our teacher the next day. Me being young, I remember going up to my mother after finishing my dinner. I laid my school books out on the table. I said, Hoya, can you read my school books out loud to me? She gave me a soft smile and told me if she could, she would help me learn. She couldn't help me because she couldn't speak English. She didn't go to school growing up in Somalia during the time of the Civil War. When I started to learn how to read better, I would read my school books out loud to my mother to help her understand English better. As a child, I felt disconnected from school and learning. There were students who knew what they were doing. I had parents and siblings who supported me, but couldn't help me in many ways. At this point, whenever I had a problem, I'd work on it myself. I didn't want to ask for help because I thought I wasn't able to understand. When I moved to Boston in the fifth grade, I had to take a science class. Growing up in Lewiston, Maine, we didn't have science classes. There's a saying that nothing is permanent except change, but I feared change change of moving to a new large city and school. I would do anything I could to avoid going to class, like faking sick or skipping class altogether. Throughout middle school, I had to take several science classes. The new school that I transferred to was under-resourced, and I didn't know how to tell teachers I needed help. We didn't have a guidance counselor, but I think I'd benefit from having an adult I could talk to. Throughout this time, I was also part of the Stepping Stone Academy. The Stepping Stone Academy helped me in my education by bringing me attention to Meridian Academy. Meridian Academy is an independent school that focuses on project-based learning. Here, teachers focus on students' individual growth. My advisors thought Meridian would be a great fit for me because it would challenge me, which was something I valued. I was excited to join the Meridian Academy community but I was nervous as well. I was afraid that I wouldn't be as academically well-rounded as other students. At that time, I had to repeat eighth grade, and I thought it was a reflection of my academic capabilities. However, I learned it was because of my previous school's curriculum. Going to Meridian helped me become interested in learning in many ways. Teachers here would push me to make mistakes and learn from them. However, in high school and science class, I was very afraid of asking for help. I didn't like science because I thought it was challenging for me. And I didn't know how to ask for help. One day after class, my science teacher, Stephanie, came up towards me. She asked me how I felt about her class. She also told me what I was doing well and what I should keep improving on. She suggested that we started meeting to have one-on-one -on -one meetings about my academic performance. I remember in one of our one-on-one -on -one meetings, I became so frustrated with myself that I started to cry in front of her. She opened up to me about some of the struggles she faced growing up at home and school, and I opened up to her about mine. Through our meetings, I became closer to my science teacher, and she became my first mentor at Meridian. This sparked a growth in my self-confidence around STEM. At this time, I wanted to do anything I could to reach out to students such as myself. 
At this point, I was part of the Science Club for Girls program. During the summer, I was, a I was a teaching assistant at the Stepping Stone Academy. As a teaching assistant, I taught a rising sixth grader science. I was in a class with a science teacher who pushed me to lead some of the activities. I remember in the beginning, I saw some kids who felt afraid of sharing their responses because they're afraid of being incorrect. Whenever I would see this happen, I would tell them why we value being, making guesses and what we can learn from those. As time went on, I saw their confidence rise. I think being close to the age helped me relate to students more. I took this opportunity by telling students some of the struggles I faced throughout middle school and high school. What I found interesting was how I was learning some of the material for the first time myself. After taking part of these programs, I learned that there's a lot to learn from just being a mentor. Right now, I have a lot of confidence within myself, but I still have some insecurities. Last year, I struggled with math, and I had to stay after school for tutoring. While I know how important it is for me to be getting those helps, it can be very challenging for me because I'm struggling. However, what has helped me is staying after school with teachers. Growing up, I knew many kids who were just like me, kids who felt isolated from the classroom because they weren't getting the help they need. Which brings me to my next question. What can we do to help reach out to students who aren't getting the help they need? For schools, administrators, and teachers, it is important to make time for all students, both high achievers and students struggling with the material. Right now, in America's public school system, there are disparities between students accessing resources. This disparity affects low-income students, students of color, girls, and students with special needs. Nationwide, black and Latino students represent 16% and 21% of students in high school enrollment. When examining the percentage of black and Latino students in advanced high school math classes, only 8% and 12% of students are in those classes. Why are schools leaving behind the students who need their help most? By separating students and giving resources to high achieving students, students in lower level classes disproportionately struggle. By focusing on students who are neglected in the classroom, schools can lessen the achievement gap. After school programs have been found to lessen the achievement gap as well. After school programs and peer mentoring can help students who are struggling speaking up in class the opportunity to become confident asking for help. Individually, finding confidence to ask adults to help navigate resources for you or be a support system for you is a great way for you to get the help that you may be lacking. And lastly, at the individual level and the community level, organizations based on education should reach out to students in their area to let them know about the opportunities they provide. This would help low-income students and their families learn about the opportunities that they may be lacking information about. Personally for me, in order for my family to learn about organizations such as the Stepping Stone Academy, they had to learn it from family and friends. While that is an important way for, for families to hear about these organizations, it doesn't have to be the only way. All students have the ability to learn. Regardless of students' circumstances, everyone has the right to be educated and motivated to be the best that they can be. Growing up, my mother would read me a proverb. The absence of knowledge is the absence of light. Schools should reach out to students and help them with their individual growth and address their special needs. As Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. stated, the function of education is to teach one to think intensively and critically. Intelligence plus character, that is the true goal of an education. Thank you.